Dang. But yeah, I do think that when it comes to certain things, I, I think you take it too personal, bro. Like if people want to make content and it involves your name, it's only because you're a public figure. And if you do something that draws attention, people are going to speak about it. Now, because you might not see things as like the media game, you might not see it as a positive, but I would think as a, as such, I know for a fact you have gained fans from me talking about you, right? And maybe vice versa. Whether you want to admit it or not, I've seen people say it in your chat. Sure. I actually yeah, found I mean, you from this BX Beast Boy being such an asshole. I've seen sure. people say this shit in your yeah, chat like, in your comment it's section. Not, it's part of the right. game, right? See, like there yeah. you go. That's that's one. That's one of many, right? But and it's not me saying all. Of course, you you've made your own name. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that it's it benefits no, I, you, I know. even though that's not your goal, right? And if you didn't take it personally, I think the only thing that made anything negative is you your reactions to it, bro. Like I don't think all the things that anyone's ever called you out on beyond like doxing or anything that could be something beyond real, like that goes real life, but just like you giving your opinion or doing whatever you do on your channel. I don't think anyone would even speak about it more than once if you didn't react to it in such a way. In yeah, terms right. of just them becoming like, say, Rob, your reaction channels because you will react to every single comment, even if the video is not about you. The first up with last what, week not, or weeks ago? Re- not in the last year, though, BX. That and because I'm, I don't, my husband helps me with that. He's like, come on. And I'm like, and, and I would have if it wasn't for him. And I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. I really don't. Like, I, I don't. And so recently, I was right like, here. wait a minute, what the fuck is this BX doing? And you know, I got triggered. Hey, mind and you, that wasn't a video on you. That was someone bringing you up during a live stream, and me and them disagreeing about it. And yes, mind you, yeah. me and them on not. I'm not going to say we're on like best of buds terms, but they've came into my live stream multiple times after the fact and had great conversations. Right. right. I'm not holding no grudge about nothing. They disagreed. Me and them exchanged words. I let the character out, press the button, just like I just did now, did the whole back and forth. And it was just like, all right, back and forth. Right. Like, it's just like, ain't nothing personal. Yeah. Right? As long as we both don't go past any boundaries, I'm never going to hold it against anyone. Right. It's just as long as we don't like try to like endanger my family. Right. Or anything of yes, that nature. I, yeah. And, and see, that's, I have to go to bed pretty soon, but. Like, All that's right. why it's good that you, we can actually have a conversation. Um, and I really don't know who started yelling first the last time. Maybe it was me. It was you. Maybe it was you. Okay, sure. I'll, whatever. <laughs> um, but it's, it's the fact that even with Kara coming up here and like showing me a voice instead of like words so I could hear the tone in her voice and I can, see her frustration but actually hear it that is so much better and i didn't start my channel on like well, let's see how many subscribers i could get i actually started out on trying to make peace with fucking assholes uh like molly which i love makeup mobster who i love and laura who i love that was the original community that i came into and i was like you guys are fucking stupid like stop fighting and then it just went downhill from there. And here we are. I can understand that. I, I really just yeah. think it just boils down to you just overreacting some years ago and just getting into your feelings about some stuff that where once you think about it after the fact, it's not really that serious. Yeah. And you I can agree. take accountability on some of the actions um, that you've done while you was in these states, right? It's just that you got to just remember those not as whenever someone brings it up as them trying to down you, but maybe even a reminder that you're not that person and to never be that person again. Right. Like I, I don't want to be the person I used to be before YouTube right? like at all, because we all grow as people for sure. Right. And I wasn't a complete scumbag, but I just feel like I've grown as a person, especially with my stoic stuff. And I just think that is a misinterpretation whenever I bring my character out and crack jokes because people are not where I'm from. And I've always said that. And I think that you've acknowledged that. I was like, yo, if Robbie never approached me nasty, we have so many things in common that I think that we probably would have gotten along, right? And yeah. I might have been able to, to help you with the emotional aspect of like being able to, to handle that better, right? It was just your approach was so off. But we do have mad stuff in common. It's a lot of similar taste in pop music. Like when you said that I listen to ghetto music, I was like, is NSYNC ghetto? Because that's what I have no. on heavy rotation. But yeah, I didn't say you listen to it. I was like taking a jab at your music, but I did listen to it. And I was like, 
dancing. No, I was taking a jab at your, I didn't even know what music you listened to. And then you said in sync, I was like, wait, he listens to in sync. Oh, that's <laughs> clear. Like, like, when you listen, I guess to my music, because I do two different things. It sounds like really like bipolar. Well, I have like aggressive you know guys, like hood type of rap. And then I have like oh, really pop man, singing. You complimented my pop stuff. That's what I was trying to say. Like I have different yes. sides of where I have the stuff that I guess you can perceive as more ghetto stuff. But then I have like the real music that I love doing when I sing and I do pop stuff. That's like songs I wish that I could have gave to NSYNC or BTS. I even remixed Girlfriend, which is my favorite NSYNC song. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's my shit. But yeah, I think no, they're I think, like, oh, uh, not that big of a deal. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think... I think just the whole recent thing was, I think I have such protection over like what I went through. And so when I, I guess maybe I can recognize that something I have to work through now is when I hear people talking about that, you know, weak, uh, person that I was, that was so, uh, confrontational all the time and stuff. Like, I don't, I don't have to protect that. I just have to walk the walk rather than like talk the talk because I could sit here all day and be like, that's who I was, motherfucker, and cuss you out. You'll be like, mm -hmm, bitch, you're the same bitch. Right, exactly. Instead of just being like, okay, whatever, and just letting it go. So I get that. You got to actually show me, especially with somebody like me that I'm blatantly just media. I, I'm blatantly telling people this isn't a personal attack on no one. I am media. So because you're a public figure, if there's anything I'm getting wrong or you like, oh, damn, he, he misinterpreted that. Man, because most of my content's live, you can literally just like right now. Yo, I want to talk. Let's make some corrections right now. And I'll allow you to do that. I do that pretty much every stream. But most people, they see my highlights, my clips and don't think that. So. They just think I'm like out to smear them and no, come, come pull up. I'm, I'm down with the yeah. smoke. I talk to anybody. Just yeah. pull up and let's ha be able to be respectful. That's why I wanted to make sure we had the clear, like the rules clear so we could both be able to take turns and hear each other out. And I think we, we did find a solution. I do still disagree with the, the whole you protecting the person that gave you that information that might be true or might not be true. But either way, I think there's more understanding that I at least can say that you know now that I'm not trying to personally attack you are trying to cause you harm and have nothing but best wishes for you and your husband. Right. And neither am I. And I, I can reach out to her and see if, you know, if she even wants to go there. Uh, cause we really, I mean, we don't talk she wants to accountability. That would be nice. If she wants to just like take accountability and sweep it on the rug, that would be probably the best thing, but that's on her. Right. And like right. you said, she's not on here. So whatever. No, I, I get that. Whatever. But I, I truly do know, and I wish I could say who it is, because if you knew, if you know her, which you might, um, maybe she's not like a creator, but she really is a very genuine, very good person. And she was looking out for my best interest. And when I received that information, I never, I didn't go to the courts. I didn't put it online. I stared at it and I was like, you? oh, there it is. Now I'm going to fucking play with them about this fake information. And I was I an asshole for that. that. I can understand that. And from my perspective, a lot of my people or people that know me seen the back and forth between us and they tried to help in their own way. But because I'm from the Bronx, I, I told them to 86 that shit. And this is just you two. <laughs> and that no one it should is. ever take anything that fucking serious. But that's the difference between me and you. Like, I have my people that care about me, and I told them it's not that damn serious. And your people, they did whatever. But if you want to talk to them and see if they want to actually have a conversation and at least like fess up and then move on, that's on them. And if not, yeah. if they want to just, just move on regardless because they're not on here, that's on them as well. I'm not going to even fucking dwell on it, but at least now we know fully. Right, right, the full extent that we got to have the conversation is out there, right? And that's another reason why I like to have my conversations public, right? Because the audience is involved in a lot of this. They've seen a lot of it. So I want there to be no questions, right? I don't want people to say, oh, he's lying. No, they heard me and you both talk. It's on audio. And no one can make nothing up. Yeah. You hear people could just have it, right? But that's because we're both public figures. And I think the problem is, too is that I see myself more as a public figure than you do. Right. You like, yeah. <laughs> you see yourself as you just putting yourself out there 
And because you've done that, you build a following and you like not realize that you a public figure now. <laughs> like they're just, just different. You're not just save Robbie, you save Robbie. See, that's why you would get along with my husband because like one night we're having like a, he never argues and I kind of just debate and he's like, whatever. Cause he's very chill. And I was like, we don't need to put everything out there. And he's like, you put everything on your YouTube. What are you talking about? And I was like, right. good point. <laughs> yeah. You're I, right. I've been saying that the entire time. And then yeah. like with, with me, if I get offended because somebody's talking about something in my personal life, it's because I don't ever talk about it. Right. And I've been an extremely independent guy my whole life. Like only people, reason why people know of my mom is because I always talk about how I check on her and make sure she's good and go to visit um, because I, I lost my grandmother um, like some years ago. And that made me oh, like, sorry, really? It's all good. It, um, it told me a valuable lesson to hold on to the people that I have. And my mom's so amazing and my brothers. So I try to make sure I contact them and visit them. And I live by myself and I'm always complaining to them like, how they don't never visit me no more. Mama, if you listen to this, why y'all don't visit me no more? I always got to go over there. <laughs> it's, it's a long little distance, but I still make the trip. <laughs> um, but yeah, like if I get offended because somebody brings up something personal, it's because I don't never really talk about my personal life on here. Unless it's just right. positive things, right? Like if someone tries well, to, and like, I'm sorry for saying anything like about that because that was just strictly to be like, you know what, fuck you, and just say whatever. And I don't remember who it was, but they uh, somebody said like the Cheeto thing was it was Granny's watching. They said that was ratio. I was like, yeah. what? Nah, okay, hot first Cheetos. of all, she doesn't know where Maybe. I was raised at. First of all, and that's all I'm gonna say because. I know everybody that says I'm not racist. I know a, or I'm not homophobic. <laughs> I have a gay cousin. It's like, that doesn't mean shit. Dumbass. I'm not even going to say where I was raised. That is bullshit. I don't do that. I've never done that online or anywhere else. I go based off my experience, even with my own mother. And I can call my mother the worst names right now. And I don't just simply because she's still my mother, you know, but she's, probably not the greatest person, but I, I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm just going to yeah, strictly like give little dicks here person. and there. I I'm not. I think that I, think that I don't even have to I defend think that it, when, Yeah, not at all. I don't think you're racist at all. I think what it is, is it's basic shit like the gamer lobby stuff. Like when you get frustrated or you get emotional, you're going to say things that you think might hurt somebody and it might be perceived as either ignorant or someone might perceive it as prejudice or racist. I know personally <laughs> oh, I go straight not for the, like the yeah, the hate, the mean right? Kids. Is it's just to try to get me upset or to get a rise out of me, right? So when you say yeah. certain things, I, I'm not really taking it as that. As far as the Cheeto line, I knew that was like more of a fat thing. Um, <laughs> yes, as far I'm as sorry. no, no, you don't have to apologize. Like I'm okay with being roasted. I used to do a birthday roast every year on my channel where I allow people to call in and roast me like a celebrity roast. So I'm okay with that. Like I'm totally down with it. In fact, I encourage it. Right, as long as we both just don't go too far and try to get real life with it. Um, but as yeah. far as that, that definitely wasn't a black thing. I think that she misinterpreted for like the hot Cheeto thing, which is on black Twitter. It's kind of like a, a thing. Okay, first <laughs> of all, like no, because the only hot Cheeto thing I've ever seen is B Love. Do you know who that is? I love the um, crab letting the crab leg muck things be love she has okay. like yeah that, and that. she has like long nails and she's black she be tearing and up she does the like crab. the cheeto hot cheeto dip crab legs i'm like hell yeah. that's the only thing i could think of i'm like how is that a bad thing like crab legs nah she's she's doing that to target black audience though when she does that oh okay 100 yeah, because I like within no idea certain algorithms like it's a meme for black people to say how much they love hot cheetos like you probably see memes of a black person sitting on a bed eating a big ass bag that's like the size of their body of hot cheetos or oh you heard of people getting sick because they ate too many hot cheetos and well thank god i didn't say hot cheetos jesus i wouldn't have taken offensive <laughs> either way like i didn't i was more offended at the music thing i'm like damn insane gang ghetto man, you don't no they're not i agree GT? Man, I I'm love in sync over That's Backstreet Boys for sure. Oh, facts. Even though Backstreet Boys has some good records, I just was more of a fan of NSYNC. Their yeah, blend Backstreet of like hip hop was more so dope. soul music. 100%. Because they had yeah. uh, Floor Force writing for them. Yeah. And NSYNC is more pop, which I like both. So, you know. They started blending towards the later years when they did a lot of work with Pharrell and uh, I think Timbaland might have done some stuff with them. Yeah. And then JT went solo and I was like, ah, yeah. damn. 
<laughs> solo album's crazy. I liked uh, when JC went solo too as well. Blow Me Up With Your Love was dope. Oh, that was like the only single, right? No, he tried like a second one and had like a whole contest on MTV where they did a dance competition with Wade Robson. Oh, and went and got this uh, beautiful choreographer for his second video. It was like a Spanish influence, Ricky Martin type of thing. It was trash. It wasn't that good. Are you sure you're like, how old are you? I'm 41. So you're no, like I'm, uh, 2000s, early 2000s pop music type yeah, of uh, R&B, hip hop. Pop and R&B, early 2000s, and maybe some rock too as well. That's my shit. Like I yeah, just, see, I'm like Jay Z, Destiny's Child, Brandy, Maya, you know. Brandy Usher. and Maya, fire. Yep, Domino, but that was like 90s. Yeah, that's around the same era. Yeah. Like I could get into that, like the In Vogue or even some Tony Braxton. Right? Yes, yes. Um, I remade uh, Six Piece None the Richer, the Kiss Me song. That was the theme oh. song for She's All That. I redid that. That whole song. Well, I haven't heard that. See, that's the part of communication <laughs> where we're not trashing each other. We could actually, you know, look in and, and you went to my music channel. What song was that that you liked? Was it? It was. I one actually like. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I like the Unest fan. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's the only one that sticks out because I've heard it so much. Yeah. Well, that's a funny song. Guys, that's going to be on Apple and like Spotify soon. I don't download the shit. But it was Appreciate good talking that. to you. I wouldn't have stayed up this late if it wasn't for uh, like a actual conversation. And I appreciate it. Hey, it's all good, man. As long as you know that no one's like trying to like do personal attacks to you. If we do have like commentaries because it was brought up during a stream one, I'm just giving my opinion. But it's not no personal like uh, attack yeah, even I mean, still to this moment. I'm not like a paranoid tweaker. I just like I think I don't know. I'm a zodiac person. I'm a Gemini. I would like to communicate with people, and when they don't, I get really offended. And so, you know, that's something I need to work on to where like if people don't want to talk about it and they just keep going, I need to learn to just like be like, okay, there's there's no communication there. Just let them go. And I don't. I'm like, fuck you. So Yeah, because that could be perceived wrong. That's why I kept saying like if we would have switched like genders and stuff like that and make it like a situation where I was a woman, right? You know, oh, just God, my, me just switching my gender fam people <laughs> would take that and run with it so i'm like see like it, it's different i guess when it's it's just a man being the receiver even if it's not that serious still just a fact <laughs> it yeah. could just be like that's crazy to me but yep. either way man glad we talked about it yeah thank you i, I really do appreciate that bx and um i got your privacy complaint i'm gonna take it down and not because because I was like I ain't taking that shit down, but I'm going right now when I get off and I'm taking it down. And sure, you sent uh, me one. Uh, what was it? Good? You sent me one for your husband. It was picture? like one of the pictures. Yeah, mm-hmm. the one that you posted on your community tab. No, it's like a Facebook profile picture of his that I was like, where the fuck did this come from? Either way, he's, it's like you still made pictures in one. But no, it, you know what? Time. Either way, BX, it's fine. I don't care. Uh, I'm going to, on my end, just take it down, move on. We're good. Uh, cool I ain't going to talk about your husband. Pull up too. any like, videos gonna, from the. He's I so cool. Like, you would, he's fucking awesome. Every time I, I talk, roast. like, I never talk about YouTube to him because if he's like, what's wrong? I could see something in your face. And I say, nothing. Because I know if I say, okay, this person on YouTube, and he's like, okay, that's dumb. That's a person on the fucking internet, and he's so logical, yeah. and I'm so not. <laughs> you would get along with him. And you're picking up stuff from him, right? See, that's dope. That's yeah. mad dope. Yeah, I get to learn from each other. You're probably showing him some stuff. He's showing you some stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's such like a... You know, his mom died when he was in prison, for six years and he didn't get the opportunity to say goodbye. And like, he has such like a drive for life that when I get demotivated, I'm like, damn dude, I haven't been through that. So, you know, motivates me. Hey, don't wrong with that. I see you talking about how much work I put in over here. 
of me trying. You was like, hey, BXBs were trying over there. <laughs> well, I'm you like, know what? yeah, I do a lot of. I'm stuff. sorry for that. Trying is the only way to get somewhere. So hey, ain't keep nothing it up. wrong with that, man. Like I think that because you don't don't watch me that much, like you didn't realize you was looking at like my seventh and like sixth channel. <laughs> I got so many Dude, channels. I just click. I see it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then I click, and then I Look get triggered, and then I run my mouth. So I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good, man. Listen, you, if you do want to just have fun and run your mouth, I'm never upset about that. It's perfectly fine, man. Crack jokes. Right? I, I don't have like soft skin or anything. I'm from the Bronx, man. Like the, the way I talk is just, that's the way we talk. And, and some people might see me as like with a rough exterior and misinterpret me yeah. like as being aggressive, but that's not the case. So I, I, I think that, or at least I thought that they would be able to tell from me laughing hysterically. Um, but it seems like that only makes people even more upset. <laughs> oh, laugh. you're laughed at like <laughs> remember you did that's it my, and i laughed over you on the stream i was like <laughs> hey man like what's crazy is like when i first started youtube i feel like maybe a week or so i did feel insecure about my laugh that's my real laugh um and people just oh i was only mad because i thought you were doing it over me and i was like fuck you Nah, that's that's my that's my genuine laugh uh oh, so okay. i can't control it uh that's just me well, you should hear my family you. we all have variations of that joke or laugh um but a lot of people think i'm trying to antagonize them or make fun of them when no nah, i'm just that's just me just enjoying the convo bro <laughs> so, yeah just me just laughing and sometimes i get into my boat where i think it's bad funny and i'm like literally cracking up um, but it's not me trying to antagonize people. And I could, I tell you, I guess after the fact, people get so frustrated, right? For me, oh, just I know I did. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, no, I was just having a good time. It was, you know, that's all it was. <laughs> well, it's because you weren't know. taking it as seriously as I was. So I was a little bit too triggered. So now that we've spoke, I understand you more. I appreciate you for, you know, having a conversation because I, I really thought when I came up that we were just gonna like try to get a word in and keep interrupting. So I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, no problem at all. And if any time you, you would like to call in and say your piece, feel free, right? If I'm talking about you and you want to like clarify something, I don't mind you calling in to clarify something. Okay. All right. Well, Either thank way, you. Man, you have a good day. Yeah, you too. I'm gonna get this. It's like four twenty-seven a.m. I think. What time was it when I got on here? Yeah. Anyways, have a good night. Thank you, and I'll let you uh, finish. No problem. Okay. No problem. Right. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. All uh, right. Let me put this up, and I'm gonna read some comments. Guys, let me see what you guys are saying. I was reading a lot of the comments during the conversation, but I'm going to read more of what you guys are saying. It seems like majority of the chat, if not all the chat, was on point. Right? Uh, I'll be, I, hey, if you don't get offended at me pulling up some of these comments and reading some, but I want to hear what the chat has to say. Well, that was actually decent. Um, I think it was Koju. I think a lot of things uh, got discussed. Um, he admitted some things too as well. Some things he didn't let it be known. I, I would love to have known who the fuck was passing my information to him. Right? But I know it got passed around in that group. And from that, a lot of stuff got like misinterpreted and spread around. Um, but I would like to know who was that person. And why was they even in a group chat with a bunch of content creators? That's kind of weird to me. But whatever, whatever. Whatever. Hey, Arlie, how you doing? Let me see what you guys are saying. Uh, da, 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 da. He said, well, Robbie is like a teenager almost legal. And <laughs> he says the private info plug lady was wrong. Yeah, that was crazy. That's insane. See, and people, a lot of people make it seem like I'm like Mr. Conspiracy guy and I'm crazy and I just be imagining shit. Um, but a lot of shit gets confirmed years later, bro. A lot of things get confirmed. You know what I mean? But uh, Maligo Lightly already told me a lot of stuff. Uh, he confirmed some stuff, right? And the only missing puzzle piece is who's the person that was like 
who's that person that he's saying that was spreading the info as well. Um, but whatever. You know what I mean? Respectful conversation between two opposing adults on YouTube. <laughs> Be right back having a stroke. That's funny. Yo, there's nobody like that I have an issue with um, that I'm not willing to speak to to certain extents, right? To certain extents, right? Um, I think with Robbie, he's done something that was like foul to me. But if he did other things like a certain form of slander, like his friend, right? Like he, he has a buddy that her name came up. Um, during a conversation and apparently I brought them together, which is whatever. That's cool. Um, but he has a friend that I think that me and them will probably never be able to have a conversation. Um, and I always say, right, I don't know, have any issue with talking with, to, with somebody as long as accountability is obtained. If someone holds themselves accountable, right, or they're coming to have a conversation where they will take accountability. I don't have an issue with having a conversation. So say Robbie has a friend that I've refused to talk to, squash anything with, and so they take accountability. And they did something which was disgusting. It was um beyond doxing. It was them putting out nasty, slanderous, disgusting, horrible rumors. It's just because I didn't want to associate with them. Right. And until they make those corrections, I'm talking about full on accountability. I lied. I'm spreading misinformation because I was wrong. I deleted a bunch of videos and act like I never did it. Yada, yada, yada. And then me and them will probably be able to have the same conversation. But until then, right, like it's certain boundaries that I'm just like, yo, if you can't take full accountability, why would I have a conversation with you? Right. But when it comes um, say Robbie, if he's willing to have a conversation and fully talk about things, right, and take accountability, Sure, you can come on and, and have a conversation. Now, now we know, right? <laughs> no one has to go back and forth about BX Beast Boys docs or my name being passed around, my government, my private information, right? All of that got addressed right now. So if anyone had any question about that, you have permission to clip my video of me and Save Robbie talking. That's why I like to have public conversations. And you can use it and anyone is allowed to have whatever opinion they want to have based on the conversation between me and Save Robbie when it comes to that. 